Hello everyone. Today, let's rate my shoe collection. As the iconic Carrie Bradshaw once said, men I may not know, but shoes, shoes I know. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaka Lee. I'm a heels dancer and movement artist, and I know a hell of a lot about heels shoes. I have been dancing in this style for over nine years now, and I have owned a lot of pairs of shoes. <laughs> So when I say that I know a good pair of heels, I really mean it. I have tested and tried a lot. So in today's video, we are gonna rate six of my most loved pairs of heels, and I'm gonna show you a bonus seventh pair that has never been seen by the public yet. Are you ready? Plus, I also have discount codes for all of the companies that I'm gonna talk about. So if you wanna buy any of the pairs that you see today, you can find them in the description below. So today we're gonna to be rating two of my red heels and two of my black heels and two of my thigh high boots. We are rating shoes from two different companies, Burju Shoes and Appeal Official. So let's talk about each brand because this is important stuff that you might not find on their website. Um, and you wanna know these things before you purchase these shoes as an investment for your heels dance journey. Okay, so Burju Shoes is like the OG heels dance brand. They were the first people that I saw online making heels dance shoes. They are US based, women owned, and all the shoes are designed by a dancer. They have tons of styles, tons of colors, and they're highly customizable. You can customize the heel height, sometimes the color, obviously the size, and the bottom of the shoe if you want a outdoor sole or a suede sole for indoor use only. They also come with their very own cute little Burju heels bag. They have great customer service. If you have to deal with returning a shoe, they're often very understanding, and you can have a great conversation with them. A couple other things you have to keep in mind when ordering from this company, they do ship from either the US or China. The shipping takes a long time. Um, there is the exchange rate to factor in, which is always the case for us in Canada, but if you're from the States, you'll be fine with that. And you might have to pay some duties. And you should know that their laces are a little bit less quality. I have run through a couple pair of laces after tying them so tight that I've had to get replacements that they do not sell themselves. I will also mention that they actually also resell their lightly used shoes, often shoes that they have had returned to them because of the wrong sizing and things like that, on a separate page um, for way less money and I think that's a great cause to not have so many of their shoes end up in landfills. So I do think they're a really great company but as companies grow and change you know slight little things tend to happen and so just so you're aware of those things that is why I'm making this video. Okay moving on to Appeal Official. So Appeal Official is a Canadian brand. It is woman owned and designed here in Canada which is amazing. So if you're a Canadian girly this is an amazing brand. Now, they don't have as many styles and colors as Burju, but they are working on some really great things coming up, and they have a great variety of shoes right now. They have a couple different sizes of heels. You can either get a three inch or a four inch, I believe. You unfortunately don't get a cute little heels bag with them, but on the plus side, you don't have to have an exchange rate and you won't pay any duties or fees. Plus, the shipping is quite fast. Now the one thing I really like about them that is kind of an interesting detail is that all their stiletto heels are like a tiny bit thicker. So if you see this heel, this heel is a little bit thicker. Now this is their stiletto. It just still looks like a stiletto, but it's a little bit thicker. If you look compared to the other one, this is the difference. Now that might not look like a lot to you, but when you're standing on it and when you're dancing on it, it provides a lot more stability for the same heel height and for still a stiletto look. Once far away, you really can't tell the difference, but trust me, it makes a big difference when you're dancing on it. So I really enjoy that detail. Okay, so let's talk about shoes. So let's talk about these. These are the Sierra Lynn in the red, okay? They've got this nice mesh detail, little crisscross. Yes, 
I ordered these with the rubber sole, and as you can see, there is no tongue. So these are fun, these are a great color, they're super, super sexy, they look great. I would say that the no tongue is kind of an issue for me. I really do prefer heels with tongue so that you don't get all these laces digging into your foot. So I'm gonna give these a six out of 10. Okay, so these are the Tallulah heels. These are their red heels. Now this isn't a very popping hot red. This is more of a burgundy color, but it's really nice. I really love this little detail of silver. It matches the little uh, lace gauntlets up the side and you get a nice matching shoelace. Like this is a perfect match. It's great high quality vegan leather. The inside you can see is leather as well. And it's super thick. I find that this is the thickest leather of all the shoes that I have and it's really great. Now again, my least favorite part is the no tongue. That's if you really like this laced look on the shoe, on the foot, this one is for you. So overall, I give these an eight out of 10. Okay, moving on to their black shoe. Now this is a special black shoe because this was a collaboration with the amazing choreographer Kira Harper. So these are an exclusive shoe, but you can still get them. They are my, one of my absolute favorites. Now what I love about this one is that this one, this whole style comes in a thicker heel. So you get the option to have a thick heel or a thin heel. Um, my favorite is that it's like a vegan leather, which is so durable, it's shiny, it's great. And it has a tongue. Yes, so you will not get any of these uh, laces digging into your feet. Now, I have had a couple of pairs of these already and they have lasted me a good almost two years of dancing on them very frequently. So this is a very durable shoe. The one thing I will say is because of the vegan leather, if you don't keep them aired out, they do tend to smell a little bit. So I rate these a nine out of 10. Now for their black heels. This one is the Stella and it is a suede shoe. So if you can kind of see, it is suede here, but it still is very good quality leather on the inside of vegan leather. Um, this one has a tongue. I was super impressed. They have a little tongue and it has a bit of a gold detail in the shoe. The zipper is gold and the little rings here are gold here. There's also a bit of a design with the stripes on it, but it's hard to see in this light. It's a bit more of a cheeky little detail. Now, I do find that suede shoes do tend to wear out a little bit faster because if you're doing floor work and you're rubbing your heels all over the ground, it does tend to fade a little bit. Now, these still are new for me and I haven't seen that much wear and tear yet, but I do feel like they would wear faster than a leather shoe. Overall though, I give these a nine out of 10. Okay, onto the thigh highs. These are absolutely amazing. They're stunning. They are a zip up. Yes, so you zip up from the side and you do kind of have to pull them on like socks. That being said, they actually fit my legs quite well and I usually have an issue with thigh highs not fitting and having a gape in them. So I have really thin legs and I usually don't find that thigh highs fit me well, but these fit me perfectly, which lends me to believe that if you do have a thicker thigh, they might not fit as well. But here's an interesting note. These are from around two years ago, and I have seen people recently purchase these, and they are sized a lot differently. There's a lot more space in the ankle, and you are getting a much wider thigh area here to probably fit more thighs. Now, I have to say that personally when I see them on, because of the baggy ankle to being more inclusive for more sizes, it just doesn't fit the same way as it does on mine. And the inconsistency of that is a bit of a bother to me. But overall, they're super fun, they're super hot, they are a peep toe and a stiletto, they also come in a chunky heel, they are annoying to remove, but so are all thigh highs. So I give these an eight out of 10. These are the Tessa thigh high boots and I am in love with them. Like I am still obsessed with these even though I've had them for over a year. Now, some great details. It's an open toe heel, yes. The zipper is on the inside so you can still zip them up, but it has this lace feature which I think is really amazing. So the lacing starts right at the base of the heel here on the side and it laces all the way up. So you can make this as tight or as loose as you want and depending on the size of your thighs and calves, you can still fit into this which I think is really amazing. One thing I'll say is that some thigh high boots that have a lace up usually have it in the front and I find again, it's like when you don't have a tongue in your boot that the laces will get into your skin and if you're doing floor work and stuff and your knees are 
straight on laces, it will tend to hurt a little bit more. So I love that these are not directly on the knee, but they are actually on the side and you still get the sexy detail. I also find that the leather is so nice and thick, like I was saying about the other shoes, it's a really nice thick leather that you could probably get away with doing a little bit of floor work in these without extra padding like knee pads. I will say though, if you tend to do a lot of floor work, be, be ready for some of the scuffs to happen on the shoes because that is a lot of wear and tear on them. So if you wanna keep them nice and pristine, possibly do less floor work. But again, we're dancers. We have to know that the heels that we buy aren't gonna last us forever. So I give these a 10 out of 10. Okay, so if you wanted discount codes for any of the shoes that you saw, I have them all down in the description below. Make sure to use those codes when you order so that you can get a good little discount for yourself. Okay, are you ready for this? These are heels that have been recently designed as a collaboration from a heels dance company called Luminesque and another different heels brand called Bouge Moi Shoes. So, this is the first collaboration of its kind and I'm gonna tell you why it's revolutionary. These heels have never been seen in the dance heels industry and you're about to see them for the very first time. Okay, this is the Glow Getter shoe. Now at first glance it might look like a lot of the other shoes that I just showed you, but I'm gonna show you why it's a little bit different. First of all, this is the new half moon heel that we made specifically for this shoe. So as you can tell, from the side, it looks just like an average stiletto. But from the back, you actually get the wide heel of a chunky heel. Yes, but it's gonna be a lot thinner, thinner this way and lighter. So a lot of people notice that in their chunky heels, floor work is kind of sticky and it's hard to make their feet and shoes look really dainty and slinky in those thick heels because they add such a chunk. It can be heavy and bulky and clunky and these are not like that. These provide the same type of stability as any chunky heel would, but you get the sleekness of a stiletto from the side which is never seen before in the heels dance shoe industry. Okay, friends? So this is huge. So if you're newer to heels dance and you still wanna go to a sexy little boot like this and you don't wanna have a chunky, chunky heel, I would go for the half moon heel. It's a perfect in between. You're gonna find you're so stable in your heels. You can put weight all the way back into your heel and feel so secure while still having the dainty slinky feeling of, of a stiletto shoe and it looking just like everyone else's shoe from the side. Okay, so a couple other things just to talk about it. The other thing that's different in this is that the zipper is actually on the inside. So many of our dance booties have the zipper coming up the back, which is great, but we find that when the zipper is at the top here, it actually can get stuck to your fishnets a lot of the time, but this one doesn't. You can zip it up and down from the inside, which is so, so helpful. Again, these are really good thick laces, so they tend not to wear as fast. And you have a tongue in the shoe, so again, you're not getting the laces bothering the front of your foot, and it feels really good. Now these come in a suede bottom. I do believe you can get them in a rubber bottom if you do tend to want to take these outside, but the suede bottom is better for indoors while the rubber sole can be used anywhere you like. So yes, of course, I still also have a discount for these heels. You can find them in the link below. And I really suggest that you try a pair of these because they are a very good quality shoe. They've got a nice vegan leather. Everything about them is great, great quality. I'm gonna give these also a 10 out of 10. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you found this helpful, please give it a like. If you're interested in more heels dance content, please give my channel a subscription. You can find conditioning warm-up videos and stretch routines to help strengthen you for heels dance. As well, you can actually dance with me in the tutorials that I sell on my website. Learn full routines with me at any level if you'd like. If you have any questions or you want to see specific videos about anything, please leave it in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.